Hello, welcome back. This is James Camp, your friendly computer science teacher from Lee College in Baytown, Texas. And this is the last of my um, intro two videos for uh, the first unit of this class on, on basics of programming. Um, and this is where we're going to talk about um, arrays. Now, the idea, the motivation for arrays is that uh, sometimes you have um, a whole, not just one or two variables, but a whole list of um, values that you want to store in a variable. So, like, um, if you're keeping track of um, salaries at a uh, business, you might have sal1, sal2, sal3, sal4, okay. Um, and this could keep going for potentially quite a long time um, because maybe everybody at your company has a different salary. Um, uh, maybe everybody at your company has a different salary, and so you, you might have hundreds of these. Um, a better way to do this... Oh, sorry, Mom. Um, a better way to do this is to create a single var variable called, you know, salaries maybe, um, that has, um, that points to, um, instead of a single, well, it still points to a single memory location, but that memory location is very, very long. Okay. And it's broken into one integer for a salary, then another integer for a salary, then another one, then another one, then another one, then another one. Um, and if we want to access one of these spots, okay, um, we tell the computer how far to offset, you know, how far to count from the very first one, okay? And so this one is index zero because we don't have to count anywhere. The next one is index one, and then two, and then three, and then four, and then five, and then it keeps on going. So in C++, we, we write it as salaries, square bracket three, say, equals, um, what's a good monthly salary? Uh, $5,000. Okay, so we write that, and then that's going to put the value, we're going to find 3, that's going to put the value 5,000 in memory location, memory location salaries, sub location 3. Okay, um, that is how arrays work. They're continuous, long chunks of memory that um, are broken into individual integer bits or double bits or string bits or whatever you want to store, uh, whatever you're making a list of. Um, and um, they're addressed by, by then giving the number of the box where the numbers in almost every computer language uh, are counted starting at zero and, and going up from there. Uh, MATLAB and R are written for the math community instead, and so they start with one and count up from there. But um, most programming languages that are written for the computer science community start with zero and count from there. Okay, um, so that's basically, um, that's the very basic idea behind an array. It's a list of values that are stored as a continuous long chunk of memory that you can address one item at a time uh, to either set their value or uh, output their value. Uh, all the details, that's for my lesson eight in my uh, C++ course. So um, as always, good luck and happy programming.